careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Lexus Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. Charles, that was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. ironic about that. Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Borov roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. You worked on the Buraffs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Buraffs. Mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. A machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love and care, or it'll descend into confusion. Do I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels? That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. 
I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Stop. What a nice trip. Wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your... Honey, you're back! What... Uh, just give me laser protection! Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am... Your defense system is active. Try... That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. Are you okay? Is everything ready? Did you pull it off? Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Must be such enough, Sky. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. That scares me when you talk like that. I'll 
meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor? are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Right away. Lockdown in progress. Robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. Must not be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Attention all co-workers, please listen to this chirper and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances, including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will- Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. It'll have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. Stop the road. I'm scared. I'm really scared of them. You've got nothing to be scared of. You're... dead. I know! Even back when I was alive, I saw dead people get up again. I don't want this to happen to me! I'm scared of them! Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply, but they... <laughs> His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood.
I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like... an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise. Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. 
the Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. This is the lunar. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Yes, I'll go find some canisters. I've got one. Not that batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, Comrade Major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh. Don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl who strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. I had to blow off some steam. Enough. Will this ever end? Don't get flustered over such little things, sugar. I made you a present. You're gonna like it. I promise. I'd like to pull the plug on you, but it's too bad I can't do without your help. Do you like it, sugar? I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. <sighs>
Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. That dirty son of a whore. I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. Whew, this place is huge, and it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Navalon complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here, so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Critters! They're most certainly crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this! Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seat bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised.
This place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed. The heart of the Navalov Comrades. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Crispy Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this.
granted.
Yeah. 